Hey guys, it's Nikki and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today's Halloween haul video. So if you do not know, we just got back from Walt Disney World and we did all things spooky season. So Disney World starts their spooky season very early in August. Uh, the party starts about second, third week of August and run all the way through the Halloween season and then they have like a week off before they convert to Christmas so they jump into their holidays right away giving everyone who visits an opportunity to experience those different types of parties so this was the first time we went to Mickey's not so scary Halloween party first time we got to see the pumpkins on Main Street it was so much fun and we cannot wait to go back again maybe next year we might want to do Oogie Boogie Bash in Disneyland as well next year maybe we don't know but we just know that we loved it it was so much fun dressing up in our costumes seeing everyone else's costumes there were some really really cool costumes probably like people who do a lot of cosplay because they were very detailed very intense so cool so that was awesome probably one of my favorite parts of the party um and the parade was amazing and just like the treat trails for trick-or-treating it was awesome so make sure you are subscribed to the channel because i do have a couple of vlogs coming from that trip and you will not want to miss those so give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel and you can be a part of my little community over here. So for our haul video today, I do have a couple of items that are non-Halloween related because we did spend a day in Epcot. So I'm gonna share those first and then I will share all of the fun spooky items that I grabbed. So the first item that I'm gonna show you today that I picked up in Epcot was something that I have been wanting for almost an entire year and I'm not even exaggerating when I say that and it hasn't been in stock. Um, when I saw this, I was so incredibly pumped, like through the roof excited, and I have now completed my collection on these items. The so, item I'm talking about is the Epcot Starbucks 50th mug. So, if you don't know, um, Starbucks has where or you have been there series or where you've been, something like that mugs for all their different locations uh, we collect them when we go to new places and then they have them for the disney parks as well and for the 50th they came out with a brand new line uh to commemorate the 50th and i have not been able to find this dang epcot mug i've had all the other parks and every time we've gone they just haven't had the epcot mugs and actually the mug was kind of hidden behind the star wars ones so definitely dig and make sure you look really hard if you're still trying to find this mug so I love the design on these mugs. It has the big 50 and then just the little icons around the mug that represent that individual park. So it has the Eiffel Tower, all of the different country items, Mexico, Morocco. We love using our Starbucks mugs and I, I cannot tell you how relieved I was when we finally found this guy because it was stressing me out and I'm glad I finally got it. Similar to my Epcot mug, I was able to finally get the Epcot Starbucks pin. So now I have completed my collection for this series. Oh, Ben There series, that's what it's called. Um, so they also created pins for every park and they actually did pins for uh, Disneyland and California Adventure as well as well so I have all of the park pins in America so those two items I was super pumped about they've been on my list forever and I finally was able to check them off another random item that I grabbed was this cute bucket hat 
So Vans and Disney actually have a collaboration going on right now. They had one pair of shoes there when I went and I just didn't love the style. I am really kind of irritated because the day after we left, they launched another style, which I probably would have gotten. It was a lot cuter in my opinion and more like casual. I'm not a huge fan of like the Thai Van shoes. It was more of like the slip on ones and they're really cute. So hopefully they'll have them when we go back. I don't know if they will or not, but I did pick up the bucket hat, Disney Vans bucket hat, and they started posting some of the they started posting some of this collection online. So I'll link this down below if it's available on Shop Disney. It says all but different types of icons and then it says Disney Vans on the front. My hair in a pony, but it's not gonna look good because of my pony. That's okay though. I think it looks cute. I'm here for the bucket hat style and it would be a lot flatter because of my ponytail, but. I enjoy them. I know they're not for everyone, but definitely for me. So like I mentioned, we did go to Epcot, which means we did do a little bit of food and wine. We didn't spend a ton of time trying items in the booths because during our next trip, I think we have two and a half or like three days planned for Epcot. So we're gonna have plenty of time to really like jump into all those food booths. But I did wanna pick up a couple of items that were on my list to get at Food and & Wine. And so I got two pins, a mug, and then the tumbler. They, there is a spirit jersey that I, I'm still going back and forth on, so I haven't gotten it. I do want to look at like all the other shirts too that are in like the smaller booths uh, throughout World Showcase. They have all of the <laughs> food and wine um, merchandise in Creations, but then they have it all spread out throughout World Showcase as well. So the two pins I got, one was just like a regular food and wine festival pin of Mickey because I actually already have the mini one. Sit down, please. You're interrupting this video. And then the other one I grabbed was a pass holder pin. So for the so for the pass holder pin is Remy and it just says pass holder right down at the bottom. He's reading his cookbook and these pins are a very good size. They are large. They were a little bit more pricey. So this one was $18, but it is huge. A double pin back, limited release, and I really love Remy. And so I definitely had to grab this one. So here's the other food and wine pin I got. This one's just a limited release, not pass hold or anything. And it says Mickey, uh, behold the grill master. And it has Mickey on it grilling some hot dogs. This is kind of like the vibe of food and wine this year. And I really love them. They are so cute. And I have a mini one too that she's like doing pizza. I think I bought that one online. Um, but I needed the matching set. So now I got Mickey too. Here is the mug that I got. So again, it has that Remy design on the front. And then this is the pass holder mug as well. So they kind of have all of the pass holder stuff revolved around Remy. And then they have the Mickey and Minnie collection and then the Tiana collection as well. And then the last food and wine item I grabbed was this Tervis tumbler. I use these every single day. Um, I have kind of a lot now, but I love them so much. So it just says Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 2022 with again uh, Remy on the front making his soup and then it says pass holder down in the corner and then on this side it says so many flavors not enough time but it's spelled like the ingredient time so that was kind of funny uh, I didn't like this is just I feel like this is weird design over here just because it's going this way and everything else is like vertical so I don't know that looks kind of weird to me, but I still wanted the tumbler, so 
I just went with it. So the last non-Halloween item that I grabbed was another mug. Yeah, so I actually came home with three new mugs this trip. Oh my goodness, that was so many. I kind of forgot about the pass holder one that I purchased, and then after I got this one, I was like, oh wow, that makes three. I got like mugs. Um, but this one was too cute to pass up. So I love big mugs. And this one is kind of like a vintage-y vibe. So it has Donald, Clarabelle, Pluto, Goofy, and then Mickey and Minnie. And then on the inside, it says Fun Times. So I love the style of this one. It just is like easy to hold and very cozy. And again, it has like a cute little vintage vibe. Has a cute little vintage vibe to it. And I will, I don't think this is online, but if it is, I'll link it in the description down below. Alrighty, now we are going to jump into all things spooky season. I was so excited to experience Halloween in Disney World for the first time. So I'm not a huge like Halloween person, um, but I did want to go to Mickey's Not So Scary because we've never experienced it before. And I can be a spooky season person when it's like Mickey and Not So Scary. Uh, I do think like at one time in my life, I do want to go to Halloween Horror Nights and you know, at Universal. But that kind of freaks me out. I don't know if I would like the houses. And it was actually pretty funny because I love watching other YouTubers. And the trackers actually did a Halloween Horror Nights video for like scaredy cats for me. Um, and this like explained like how you could get through the different scare zones without being like semi scared and all like the food offerings that they have. So I don't know. Would I go there to just like hang out? Uh, you, there are rides that are open during that time. Eat the good food. Eh, I don't know. I don't like haunted houses, but I don't know. Maybe if I watch the videos before I go, it wouldn't be as terrible, but yeah. I think it would be fun to go. I just don't know if I would enjoy it. <laughs> So one thing that I get um, for every Disney trip that we go on is a Christmas ornament. And so during this trip, I ran over to Disney Springs um, at night and I didn't really realize, you know how when you're on vacation and like the days kind of just like mix together and you don't know. The day is kind of just like mixed together and you kind of forget what day of the week it is. Well, that was me during this trip because when I when we went to Disney Springs, it was a Saturday night. And I didn't like process that in my brain until I got there and it was insanely busy, like crazy, crazy busy. And I was thinking to myself, I'm like, why is it so busy? It's like, oh, because it's a Saturday night. Yeah, so no worries though. I was able to get a Christmas ornament and it was actually very convenient because the Christmas ornament I found already had the date personalized on it. And so I didn't have to wait and then come back to get it personalized. There was a different one that said Happy Halloween on it with the date, but I didn't like the characters within the ornament. I wanted the different ornament and so this one just says 2022 on it which is totally fine those are in the ornament with 2022 on the bottom I just thought this one was so cute they had I don't it wasn't the hat box ghost but there was a different character in another one that said like happy Halloween up top with 2022 and I liked that personalization I just didn't want to wait in line because it was too dang long for me and I love the Hitchhiking Ghost, Haunted Mansion vibes. Thought it was perfect for our first Halloween-y 
vacation at Walt Disney World. The pins that I grabbed. So this is the Mickey Halloween 2022 pin. And I actually got the Minnie Mouse one in Disneyland. So they're all the same. And it's kind of funny because this costume that Mickey is wearing, he actually is dressed up as a pumpkin at Disneyland. And I really wish they would have brought him to Disney World, but they did not. Um, so I definitely wanted to grab Mickey. And then, of course, I had to get his best pal, Pluto. He is just in the cauldron, living his best life with the cute little ghosty ghosts. And then Donald in the oversized candy corn costume is probably my favorite <laughs> costume uh, for all of the characters this year. And then I love this cute ghost that's on a different um, merchandise this year. I just had to get Donald's because... He is so stinking cute. And then finally, I got the annual pass holder Halloween pin for this season. So it just says Halloween, Walt Disney World annual pass holder 2022. All the other Halloween pins didn't have a year on it, so I liked how this one did. And there was one Halloween pin that I didn't grab, and it was the Disney Vacation Club member Halloween pin. Um, when we were in Epcot, they had it in the display case, but then they like didn't have it behind the register for some reason. They didn't really even know like when I asked about it. When I went to Disney Springs pin store, they had it, but when I say that line was long, holy smokes, that line was so long. It was getting late in the night. We wanted to head back. So I didn't end up getting it, which was fine because I had the annual pass holder one. But they did have another Halloween pin that I really wanted. But I thought four was probably enough too. <laughs> So as I mentioned, we did make it to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party for the first time in forever. Um, and this next like group of merchandise can only be purchased at the party. So what was really interesting about the party was the party started at 7, parked, closed at 6. And so there was an, an hour between where everything was closed down. Um, so pro tip, if you do go to the party, make sure you're in line for something before 6 p.m. Because after 6 p.m. they shut everything down to get all of the people that are not in the party out of the park. And then at 7, everything else opens back up. So we didn't really have a, we didn't know that technically. Like we knew park closed at six, party started at seven, but we didn't know they shut down all the lines at six o'clock. Um, so what we did, we just hung out in the Emporium for an hour um, waiting for them to open up the merchandise. Merchandise was something that was really important to me that I wanted to grab for the party being our first one. And so we just hung out and honestly it was a great time. The cast members were amazing. They did different trivia questions. We all just like chatted. There was a big group hanging out. It was it was really fun and honestly I, I don't think I would have wanted to go do anything else. If anything we were hungry so we went and ate at seven o'clock which we needed to eat dinner but it kind of was annoying because we were like running into our party time then at that point. So definitely make sure that you're in a solid spot before six o'clock either sitting down and eating dinner or in a line for a ride because everything then gets shut down at six. So the couple of items that I grabbed from the party this year were some shirts, I got one of the bowls, and then I got an ornament. Unfortunately, they didn't have any mugs or pins for the party this year. Um, so these were pretty much all the items available besides a pair of ears, and then there was a kid's shirt as well. Yeah. The first item from the Halloween party that we got was this cute little treat bag. So it just says Mickey's Halloween party, let's boo this. And then it has Mickey as a vampire. And this was so fun. You can just carry around um, this bag all night. And it had the map of the party for you as well in here. And then it had a large bag of M&Ms that were actually really good. I can't remember the like the flavor of the M&Ms, but they kind of reminded me of like Bunch of Crunches. If you've ever gotten those at the movie theater. 
um, but this was like so fun to have. And then you also got a little wristband. I'm not sure if they do a different color every night, but ours was purple, so I was pumped. But it just says Mickey's Halloween Party on it. And whenever it says like Mickey's Halloween Party in a really small lettering, it says not so scary. So like the full name is Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And y'all, we had just such a fun time. Such a fun time. But let's get into the fun goodies that I grabbed at the party. So the first item, of course, had to be the Halloween party ornament. So it says, again, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party with Mickey and Minnie. And then it has Magic Kingdom 2022 on the bottom. And I love the coloring. Obviously love that it's purple. The little dangly then says Magic Kingdom 2022 on it. I just thought this would be something fun to have. Again, it being our first party, I wanted to get all of the things. So I got three different shirts. <laughs> three different shirts at the party. And this one was the pass holder shirt. So it has Mickey in his little top hat with some ghosts. And he has his pumpkin and it says Magic Kingdom 2022. And it's kind of like velvet. And then on the sleeve pass holder. So this was one of the two pass holder items that you could get. Yeah, grab the pass holder tee. Um, and then right up here, it just says, again, Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. But it's super cute. I love it. I'm here for it. The next item is a spirit jersey. So this one is kind of like tie-dye. And then it says a Magic Kingdom 2022 with a bat on the front. And then on the back, it says Mickey is it not so scary Halloween party. And again, it has Mickey with his little top hat and his costume with a pumpkin on the bottom. They do have a Halloween spirit jersey that just says like Walt Disney World on the back with a couple of the ghosts and the pumpkins. And I originally was going to get that one, but then I saw that they had one for the party. And so obviously I had to get the one from the party instead. And I'm, it's really interesting to me that they have like Magic Kingdom 2022 on a lot of the things. Like why are they pointing out that it's at Magic Kingdom? Are they going to have a Halloween party like somewhere else one year instead of at Magic Kingdom? Are they going to have it at a different park? Because the Halloween party at Disneyland, or I, I should say California Adventure, is Oogie Boogie Bash. So it's not Mickey is Not So Scary. So it's just interesting to me that they like point out that it's at Magic Kingdom. And then finally, the other shirt I grabbed, uh, this was the one I was like most excited for. So it says Mickey is not so scary Halloween party um, on the front. And then the shirt is kind of like weathered almost. It's like a black and gray with like little speckles. And then on the back, it again says Magic Kingdom, Mickey is not so scary Halloween party and has Mickey and his little outfit and then it has the headless horseman as well and it says 2022 with some spider webs and some candy and the last item that i purchased was the halloween treat bowl so yes i actually carried this around the entire party and now that i'm thinking in my brain that technically isn't the last item that i purchased but um, it was too cute to pass up. I absolutely loved it and I knew we needed it for our house. So in the middle of the bowl, it just has a Mickey pumpkin with some spider webs and some other pumpkins and some candy. And then it says Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And it is like wavy on the top, which I like. Again, it has that Magic Kingdom 2022, Mickey and Minnie. Then it's like the, what is that it's supposed to be? Haunted Mansion, I think. And then on this side, it has the Hitchhiking Ghost, Headless Horseman again. So it is really cute. I wasn't sure if I was going to get this, but once I saw it in person, 
I knew that I was just gonna like sacrifice carrying around this in my backpack for the whole night because I wanted to bring it home and I'm happy that I did. And the last item that I technically purchased was this fun Halloween tote. So this was a little bit cheaper when you purchase like a certain amount and I absolutely loved it and honestly it made carrying around everything at the party a lot easier. They did say that all the items were available uh, through the whole party and that is accurate and that they had enough items but I just didn't want to risk it. The Halloween party merch was something that I really wanted and so I just got it at the beginning. Yes, it was kind of a pain carrying around the whole party but it was a sacrifice I was willing to make. The last item was actually a freebie that we were given at the end of the party. They were passing them out for everyone. And it just says, again, Mickey's Halloween party with the castle. And I think it's really funny that the light post has the carriage because that's such a controversial subject. Everyone wants the Mickey pumpkins. And then it has a couple of the characters going into the castle, Walt Disney World's 50th. And it is really like sparkly. I just noticed that they had the Mickey pumpkin on this light post right down here. So I really liked these. It was super cute. Jackson and I both received one. So now we have two. But they've been handing these out at all of the parties. Um, so if you do go to the party, make sure that you grab one before you leave. All right, guys. That's going to be it for today's haul video. Thank you so much for watching and seeing all the fun little spooky items that I grabbed during our last trip. Again, make sure you are subscribed to the channel because I have lots of fun travels coming up very soon that I'll be sharing with all of you here. And I just absolutely love and appreciate you being a part of my YouTube community. I love creating content for YouTube. It's my absolute favorite. So I would love for you to be over here and support me. Just click that little subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. And definitely leave a pumpkin emoji down below to let me know that you've made it all the way through to the end. But I hope you guys have a magical rest of your day. And I will see you real soon. Bye.